what we do the right click new solid make it a black color okay then we go to effect noise and grain and we will be adding fractal noise now leave the default settings we don't need to change nothing here just hide it for now next step take a pen tool select a window area from where the sun is coming right once you've done unhide the layer by having the solid selected we go again to effect blur and cc radial fast blur I will hide the background for the moment. Then we have this center pin select and put in the direction where the sun approximately should be. So I'd say somewhere around here. Then well, let's increase the amount. Normally I use 99. And here where it says zoom, I choose brightest. Then go to fractal noise evolution. Let's add a keyframe at the very beginning. Then move time indicator all the way to the end. And here really try any number, whichever fits you. I'll choose 10. And as you can see, you have a nice race going through the window. However, it's still not looping. If you play, you see you have a jump from the end to beginning. To fix that, go evolution options, cycle evolution. And it works with one, but I found it that with 10, the cycle is longer. Then we unhide the background by the by having solid selected. We go to mode and choose screen. Here we can adjust the center point even further. As you can see, like this. And really find the best position for your background. Here's how animation is looking. Also, you can adjust the color by going to effect, color correction, hue and saturations. I'll hide the background for now. Go to colorize and you can increase saturation and if you feel like you can give a more yellow tint to your sun rays like this and you'll see how it's looking before and after have a nice yellow tint well i hope you find this video useful like and subscribe the video and i'll see you in the next tutorial